Hey guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing well. I just did my makeup, so if you want to check out my makeup tutorial, go ahead and do so. Link will be in the description. Or no, link will be up here in the cards. Who am I? So today I'm going to be doing a little try on haul. You guys know I love buying clothes and I rarely show you. So um, I'm going to be sharing with you guys because we ain't got nothing else to do. So I'm going to be showing you guys um, some stuff that I recently got from Nordstrom, Airy, Free People, ASOS, okay? Pretty much all we can do is order online because we can't shop in stores. So it's a weird time for us all, but shopping keeps me zen. This video is in partnership with Shop Tagger. Again, you guys know I love working with Shop Tagger because I love to tell you guys about how to shop smarter, better, faster, wiser. Um, and get the deals, get the sales. What you can do with Shop Tagger is you can make lists of things that you like, that you wanna know when they're gonna come in and out of stock, when they go on sale. I use it for multiple things. Keeping track of items that I don't wanna buy right away. I know they're gonna go on sale at some point, and so I'm waiting to see when they'll go on sale. Or if a product goes out of stock and I need to know when it comes back in stock. Shop Tagger is definitely amazing for that. I've been using it for like years now and I'm obsessed. You guys know I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys how to download Shop Tagger and use it to shop online right now. So to download Shop Tagger, you're just gonna go to shoptagger.com and then you're gonna add the extension to your browser. So using Chrome, you're going to add the extension and install it to your browser so that it will be available wherever you're shopping. And you're going to either sign in if you already have an account or make an account. Then you go to whichever site you like to shop on, find items you like, and then you will click the little button on the right side of your screen. You can move this button around if you want to. When you click it, choose your preferences for the items. You can get notifications if you want to know when it goes on sale, when it comes back in stock. And then you're going to save that to a list if you want. I made a quarantine list for all the quarantine items that I like. And then once you go back to your page your account on shop tagger then you will see the item in your account and you can organize your lists from there create a little wish list you can also share your lists with friends if you want to you know um and that's it it's pretty simple to do the possibilities are endless so now that you guys know how to download shop tagger if you don't know already um if you do know go ahead and sign in and add the stuff that i'm showing with you guys to your shop tagger so you can purchase it when it goes on sale because I'm pretty sure none of the stuff that I bought was on sale at the time. So uh, shop tagger will definitely keep you abreast of all of the sales that are going to be happening soon. Sure a lot of stores are going to be having online sales because we're all sitting at the house wondering what we're going to do with our lives and they just want to make us happy. So um, first off is the stuff that I got from Nordstrom. I had been needing some new leggings um, because <laughs> Yeah, girl, got a little thick, okay? Um, I'm just kidding, Um, because <laughs> these are an extra small, so I don't even know why I'm playing with myself. I did want to get some new leggings because it motivates me to work out. I have not been working out since we've been on the stay-at-home order, and I was so used to like getting up and going to the gym. That was motivating for me to get out of the house, you know? Um, but since we're at home and we can't go, I gotta do something, so this motivates me to work out, but it just makes me want to like be active, you know? These are by Allo, A-L-O, um, and they were a little on the expensive side, but I had a gift card, so I figured I might as well indulge. But this is what they look like. They're just yellow, high-waisted leggings. They're very stretchy. I feel like I could do a number of flexible things in these leggings. I am not flexible whatsoever, but this will make me want to be more flexible. It'll make me want to, like, you know, learn how to, a split you know what I'm saying never been able to do the splits so that's something I've always wanted to do it's on my bucket list <laughs> uh, I have the weirdest things on my bucket list don't judge me and then I got this sweatshirt it's not a sweatshirt because it's not like heavy do y'all see the material look how soft that is okay so next up is the stuff that I got from free people I never shop at free people because of how expensive it is I try not to be overindulgent even though i can afford things i had all this money saved up for all these trips that i was going to go on but all my trips were canceled so i figured i might as well spend a little bit of money on the things that i really like kind of want to get so i went on free people you know what i'm gonna indulge in some loungewear it'll make me feel better about being in the house and i won't be a bum all the time so i got a lot of jumpsuits i have one pair of pants and i saw these pants on 
a an Instagrammer, somebody, I don't remember her name, but she had on these pants and I felt like I needed them. So let's try them on, shall we? By the way, if you like to shop online, um, everybody is extending their exchange policies right now. So most stores are extending their exchange policies from like 30 days to like 90 days. So you have a long time to return things. So if you do find that you wanna order some stuff, but you're not sure if you're gonna like it, this is probably the best time to do so because you have a very, long grace period these are the pants Ooh, i already love these they're so wide <gasps> they had these in gray and i put them in my shop tagger so i know when they come back in stock because i really wanted the gray ones but i think i might keep this color i was really feeling the gray ones though i really wanted the gray so y'all think i should send these back and get the gray ones or should i keep these and still get the gray ones <laughs> wow if I could design a perfect pair of loungy pants, they would be this. And I love that they drag the floor and cover my ugly toes because I need my toes done. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should I keep this color or get the gray? So the first jumpsuit I got is this like tan one. I like this material. It's nice and soft. Oh, it's cozy. I mean, it's not the most flattering. Let's just go ahead and put this out there. It does look a little homeless, but I kind of like it. Rate the stuff. Tell me what I should send back and what I should keep. I'm gonna end up keeping everything if it's up to me. I feel like it's very cozy though. Like this is something I definitely wear around the house. Now I got two of these jumpsuits. This one is super cute. It's a very bright orange, almost red. I love that these jumpsuits are so lightweight, even though they're very soft and cozy, they're not heavy. Right now it's like 70 degrees outside. It feels very nice, um, but I don't wanna be hot. So these are definitely like very lightweight and breathable. Definitely cute. I love jumpsuits because it's so easy to put them on. I don't have to worry about putting on a top and a bottom and matching. I'm just cute all the way down. I also bought the same jumpsuit in yellow. This is the yellow one, mustard on the beat. I love the yellow. Let me know what you guys think. If you think I should keep the yellow or the orange, but I think I like both of them. The last jumpsuit is this one. I think I'm gonna take this one back. I was really intrigued by the shape of this one, so let's see what it looks like. If this is one of those ones I'm gonna have to wear like a tank top or something underneath because definitely can't wear this with nothing underneath. All these have pockets. I love that they all have pockets. It looks like I'm wearing rags. Like, it looks like I cut a trash bag or something and made it to a jumpsuit. I don't know, it has like a, a rusty, dusty cuteness. You know, I feel like it, this is one of those ones that looks cute depending on how you pose. So like if I was like sitting down, you know, with a leg up. So next stop, some bits and bobs that I got from Aerie. I don't know what it is, but I love the teeny bopper stores, probably because I'm built like a teeny bopper. I love like the teenage stores like Aerie, PacSun. I get a lot of stuff from PacSun. As far as like t-shirts, graphic tees, I get a lot of from PacSun. But Aerie is one of my favorite go-to places to buy like airporty outfits, if that makes sense. Very cozy, loungy wear. I have a lot of winter stuff from Aerie, but I don't have any like springish stuff. So I decided to get a few things. Very, very simple stuff, nothing crazy at all. Typically, when I want a soft t-shirt to wear, I steal one of Cam's, but I decided to be an adult and get my own clothes uh, because he gets irritated with me getting my makeup on everything. These are so soft, they're very soft. I ordered a size up. Typically, when I wear oversized t-shirts, that is, I get mediums or larges because I like for it to be really like loose fitting on me. I don't like form fitting t-shirts. And then I bought some sweatpants in the same color. These sweats don't have any like cuffs at the bottom. You know how most sweatpants, they have like the cuffs, um, the elastic cuffs at the bottom to kind of stay on your ankles. But these are like just loose fitting. Sometimes the cuffs on sweatpants can be a little too tight on my ankles and it leaves ankle imprints. I don't know why that bothers me, just nice simple sweats very soft and cozy for around the house i like to get sweats that kind of match so doing like one color all the way down or doing complementary colors just making sure that your sweats and your t-shirts match a little bit they don't have to match completely but at least complement each other and when i shop i typically shop in color scheme so whenever i check out my cart usually is all like stuff that kind of goes together i also got another t-shirt but this one is in like a lighter pink Obviously I don't have to try that on because it's the same t-shirt. Love this sweatshirt. I already have one of these. I have a gray color that I wore um, on vacation and I decided to go ahead and get another color because it's so soft. All of Aerie's sweatshirts are so soft, like beyond soft. Such a cozy vibe, you know what I'm saying? 
cozy vibes. Definitely check out the Aries site because they do have sales often. Because it is getting warmer outside, I decided to get some more biker shorts. And then I also got this lavender. Got some nice little Easter egg colors, you know what I'm saying? Um, because I love biker shorts for when I wanna work out, um, you know, lounging around the house, running errands, things like that. They are like leggings, they're just short. Y'all can't tell how hairy my legs are right now, but they are atrociously hairy. I love these, they're very comfortable, kind of random, but I got a tank top. I don't really need to try it on because it's just a plain tank top. This one's very, very soft. Um, and it's, I think it's called Real Soft. Yeah, it's called Real Soft. So the stuff that I got from ASOS is a little random. I actually might send some of this stuff back because it isn't as cold as it was before. And I feel like I don't really need all of this warm stuff. So this is a polo sweatshirt. It's just a yellow polo sweatshirt and it says polo on the back. I don't know why, but this really spoke to me. I'm tired of trying things on, so that's why I'm not trying that one on. I don't wanna get makeup on it either. Also got this white sweatshirt that I'm afraid to put on because the neck looks small and I have makeup on. So I'm not gonna put it on in this video, um, but it is cute. It has a Nike check on the back and it draws strings right here at the bottom. So you can tighten it to make it tighter around the waist. Um, but I'm not gonna wear this right now. I'm not gonna put it on, I'm not gonna try. I got this shirt, I can try this on. <laughs> and this is just an oversized green shirt. And it's really big, but it's very me. Love a good lime green, honey. And this is like a shirt dress, basically. So I technically could wear this with no pants. I would wear shorts underneath it, but um, it technically is a shirt dress. And I think it goes cute with the blue. What do y'all think? Very summer. And then the last loungewear item that I got was this sweatsuit. It's Chinatown Market. I love the color of these sweats. So cute. These were a little more expensive, but it, there's also a hoodie you can buy as well. You can buy them separate or you can buy them as a set. Um, I got both because why not? Got both of these in a size small. I didn't want to get them too tight or anything. I wanted them to be really loose. It's too hot. I'm not going to put that sweatshirt on. Um, but this goes cute with the shirt. That is all for my chilling in the house haul. Let me know what's your favorite, what you think is cute, what you think I should send back. Also be sure to check out to check out Shop Tagger to keep up with sales and get you those deals, honey. Stay safe, stay inside, and I'll see y'all in my next video, all right?